Hi everyone, welcome to our 10th edition of the video blog. Uh, my name is Kevin Zachter, head coach of Scottsdale Aquatic Club. We've just come off a fantastic summer of swimming, um, highlighted by three swimmers representing our club at the Junior World Championships in Singapore. Um, those swimmers brought home, I think it was seven medals total, uh, three gold medals, a fantastic performance from our kids. We also had three new Olympic trials qualifiers and our age group kids won our state meet, we won our sectional meet. It's just really been a fantastic summer. Proud of what we've accomplished as a club. We have a fantastic structure, a fantastic group of coaches. Really excited to push that into the next year. And, and as 2016 looms an Olympic year, we're really excited to get as many swimmers qualified for Olympic trials as possible and hopefully have a swimmer or two representing our club in Rio. As we head into our fall season now, we really are going to take the next couple months and focus on skill work, a lot of kicking, a lot of drill work, really try and clean up our strokes before we get into the main part of our training season. We really do a nice job of, of teaching our swimmers the proper skills and technique they need to be successful. So we start with our national group and our post-grad swimmers and we work on certain skills and drills and techniques. And those are filtered down throughout our program all the way down to our basic novice level swimmers. We want to teach consistently through the program. We build on those skills as they progress through the program and become more skilled, stronger swimmers so that they're able to adapt and grow with the stroke and with the skill. Um, like I said, we start with red and white. It might be just a basic streamline or a catch up stroke. And then we add things to it all the way through the program so that by the time they get to the national level and the, and the post-grad group, they're working on those same skills but at a much more advanced rate. I'd like our coaches through the program to use a common language, teach common drills, so that I can go to any group, any, any swimmer in the program, and I can ask them to show me a specific drill and they'll know what they're talking, what I'm talking about, and show me what I'm looking for. It's also important it's also really important for me that our coaches give a lot of individual one-on-one -on -one feedback. You'll notice our coaches continually pulling swimmers out, correcting technique, putting swimmers in a separate lane to work on things that they need to work on. It's really important that we teach proper mechanics, proper skills, proper drills, but do it in a way that each swimmer has an opportunity to learn how to do those skills properly. Um, if that means we take time out, teach a kid one-on-one, -on -one, then that's what we have to do. That's what I think we do really well. So once again, you can see we've got a, a well-oiled machine here. All of our coaches work together. We have a strength coach who works with our program. Everything works together to make sure that we're on the same page. Um, we've recently hired a director of operations. Um, he oversees kind of the dry side of the program to make sure that everything we do is in support of our athletes and our talented swimmers that are striving to, to reach the pinnacle of the sport. It's a well-oiled machine, like I said. Um, everything works together really well. We communicate well. We all have the same goals in mind for the club. We want the club to be successful.